Hey there, welcome to Martin Says. Today I'll be talking about the Ghostbusters Reebok capsule collaboration. Let's go! Before anything else, I hope you're doing great today because I'm feeling a bit spooky. Ooh. If you're new, my name is Martin Conde. I mostly make videos on the latest hype trends, sneaker news, as well as great alternatives. Now, if you're into those kinds of things, don't forget to subscribe and always be updated. It's Halloween season, and what better way to spend your hard-earned money than to buy a pair of really cool sneakers? So strap on the Proton Pack and start up the engine because Ghostbusters has collaborated with Reebok on two brilliantly crafted sneakers that would set the season on fire. Bet even the Marshmallow Man would love this. Introducing the Ghost Smashers and the Ghostbuster Classic Leather Shoes. This collaboration brings everything you'd expect from two icons coming together, with plenty of inspiration drawn from the 1980s film. They can even look like the originals. Maybe we can see a cameo in the new movie? Maybe? Hmm. Boom! After launching their spooky season-inspired hoops collection this month, Reebok is continuing with their celebratory footwear initiatives with a brand new Halloween theme collaboration, this time in partnership with Sony Pictures. The Boston-based imprint has tapped the Ghostbusters film series to create a new capsule that involves both apparel and footwear pieces. The latter is comprised of two pieces, one being the classic leather, while the second is the more eye-catching Ghost Smasher silhouette specifically crafted for this project. These nostalgic kicks will have to fill up a void however that was left by the delayed release to June 2021 of the new Ghostbusters Afterlife movie. When midnight strikes on October 31 and Halloween begins, both the Reebok Ghost Mashers and Ghostbusters classic leather shoes will rise from the dead or at least go on sale. <laughs> Dropping on the Reebok website Reebok.com and through select retailers on October 31st. There's no doubt that the Ghost Masher sneakers is the standout pair from the pack. From its cool little details to the recognizable colorway, the modernized silhouette recalls similar design elements to the Reebok Alien Stompers, which were originally made for the Alien movies. But due to its higher profile and midfoot strap, the Ghost Smashers was able to usher in a few constructional details that allowed it to stand out on its own. Some of these include the removable faux OG Pump Proton pack that latches onto the heel and the Reebok logo on the mid-panel section which is crossed out in a hazardous tape style. How appropriate. While the iconic Ghostbusters logo has been added onto the padded tongue, Reebok has even given the shoe a pre-worn finish that's most notable on the midsole and outsole. And rounding out the vintage look is the exposed foam coming out on top of the tongue. The Ghost Masher's color pattern is heavily inspired by the Ecto-1 and other essential Ghost Busting equipment. Most notably among all the add-ons is the pump branded green component on the heel which is attached to the shoe by grey arms and green and blue wires. I guess this is where you keep all the ghosts that you've stepped on? So congratulations, you've got ghosts on your shoes. Hmm. That could be a series. Ghost on your shoes, ghost on your shoes, ghost on your shoes, ghost on your shoes. The slightly battered white high tops have a velcro strap with a famous line written inside. You've guessed it, who you get a call. That is such a nice reminder to have every time you put them on. Now don't worry, they won't break the bank that much. Cause they are expected to come in at $150 a pair or about 7,500 pesos and it seems they will only come in men's sizes. The cool and unique look echoes its resale value and currently projected to go between $200 to $700 depending on the size. For now, bigger sizes seem to be doing good from 10.5 and up. These kicks will not only draw in sneakerheads but also die-hard fans of the series. And since Reebok did not disappoint with the design, it is no surprise that these may come in as essential grails for some collectors. Now if you are unable to get a pair and are looking for a more toned down version, I've got you covered. If all else fails, a great and subtle alternative would be the classic leather stompers, which is currently available in the market. I'll be putting a link down below where you can buy them. Keeping it simple, these timeless shoes show off a clean, minimalist design, iconic details like color logo 
nose and a contrast gum outsole give them a retro vibe. A strap replaces the laces for easy on and off. The upper is made of supple, soft, premium leather. These are also a lot cheaper than the Ghost Smashers and would blend easily with any outfit. Next up is a more subtle pair, something you can totally rock on an everyday basis. The throwback model has been designed to match that of the historic jumpsuits from the iconic film series. Key design features include the quarter panel Reebok logo that has been remixed to translate the aforementioned garment, caution tape striping on the heels paired to ready to believe you text hits, the Ghostbuster logo stamp on the tongues and the lace aglets that spell out the number to call when you seize the ghost. So who you gonna call? It's on the aglets. The reworked Reebok classics also feature little details like a yellow and black stripe echoing the look of the ghost trap. A splash of green slime on the outsole which I think was pretty smart but at the same time I've got my doubts. Now I don't think you'll be able to identify either you stepped on poo or they were actually part of design, but at the same time, very good eye on details. Except for the poo part. And a badge based on the name tags worn by Venkman and Chumps. Nice. Now, the Ghostbusters classic leather shoes is set to cost at $100 or around 5,000 pesos. The resale standing is pretty stable as of now and is currently projected to go from $150 to $300. Again, this all depends on the size and right now, size 9 and below are doing pretty fine as well as 13 and 14. And just like the Ghost Smashers, I have prepared a great alternative for you. If you try to guess, alright, it's the regular Reebok classic leather. A legend since 1983, these kicks show off the classic running inspired looks and easy to style and comes in a huge variety. So crisp, so clean. The only thing you need to do is lace them up and consider your day or night one. Wow, that came from their website. Pretty smart marketing, I'm convinced. <laughs> The best part is they're a lot cheaper than the Ghostbuster classic leathers. I'm sure you can find a similar colorway somewhere. Lastly, both pairs arrive in repurposed 80s Reebok pump packaging with boxes that state less talk, more busting. And this is how it ends. Finalizing the collection is a set of co-branded apparel central to which is an authentic tan Ghostbusters jumpsuit with Reebok branding. Now aren't you excited for that? Apart from this delightful piece of fan service, long and short sleeve tees with don't cross the streams and slime coated vector graphics round off the look. Just like the sneakers, the apparel are set to release on October 31st at 4am GMT. Overall, I think this was such a spectacular collection, especially if you are a fan of the film series. I mean the details that they put and the thought that they counted for this collection was just amazing. And the design was extremely unique and very much in brand for Reebok and still very reminiscent of the film series. I think overall the collection is great from value, style, and even nostalgia. They covered everything. The sneakers themselves look phenomenal and add the apparel on top. Man, Reebok is on a roll for this Halloween. So let me know in the comments down below what you think. Are you down to cop any of these pieces? Did you love them or did you hate them? Do let me know. If you haven't yet, do subscribe to the channel and be updated with the latest hype trends, sneaker news, as well as great alternatives. Once again, this is Martin Says and see ya!